everyone, it's Miss Jones, and this week for art, we're going to do what I call draw-alongs. For these activities, I'm going to lead you step-by-step -step on how to draw a particular picture. This week, I chose the theme of circus silliness, and in this video, we're going to be replicating this image of a unicycle dog. As we go along, I encourage you to add your own unique details to your drawing. So remember to decorate it with lots of different colors, patterns, and other circusy things. So what you're going to need today for this activity is a blank piece of paper, a pencil, and or a marker. So I like to draw with my sketch or first drawing with a pencil because it's not permanent. I can use the eraser to erase if I mess up. Um, and then I'm going to use my pen to outline it. But if you want to jump right in with your pen because you are a bold individual, go for it. Um, but I'm going to start with my pencil and then later outline it with pen. Um, you're also going to need something to color with. So crayons, colored pencils, markers. I'll probably use markers today. Maybe some colored pencils for um, the larger areas. Um, but that's uh, your materials you're going to need. So when we are drawing an image, usually we start at the top of our picture because we draw the head of our animal or person and we kind of build our drawing off of that. But for our unicycle dog, we're actually going to start at the bottom of our page because we're going to start with the unicycle. It's a little bit more complex of a shape and uh, we are going to build our piece from there. Um, so at the bottom of your page, draw a circle. doesn't need to be a perfect circle, but I like doing my pencil because it helps me get a, get a pretty good shape. So I got my circle and then you're going to draw a smaller circle inside of that circle. So we're kind of creating like a thin donut. And that's going to be our unicycle tire. So we've got our little tiny thin donut, not very appetizing because it's made of rubber, because it's actually a tire. Um, but now we're going to draw our uh, ground. So I want to draw um, kind of where our, what our unicycle is sitting on. And I'm going to draw my ground kind of halfway through my unicycle. And once I get to my edge of my donut tire, I'm going to actually stop and then go to my inside circle and draw the rest of my ground and then stop. And on the other side, I'm going to draw the rest of my ground. So now our tire looks like it's in front of our ground, but you can still see through kind of the middle part where we're going to add all of our spokes. Um, so in the middle of your uh, smaller inner circle of your tire, we're going to draw another small circle. This is going to be kind of the middle of our bike. And let's draw a few more circles, like circles inside of circles. So this is kind of where uh, all the spokes of our bike wheel are going to um, come together. So once we have our, um, our middle done, we're going to draw our bike spokes. And how we're going to do that is pretty simple. I'm going to start from the middle uh, where this little circle is. And I'm going to draw a diagonal line. Now... I'm going to start uh, over again and draw a diagonal line the opposite direction. So I'm creating this little, uh, almost like a triangle next to our uh, circle that's in the middle here. And I'm gonna continue to do that all the way around my wheel. So I'm gonna do a diagonal line here and then diagonal line here to make that uh, triangle. So diagonal. Diagonal. It's kind of just like crisscrossing lines to make a little triangle up here. And if yours doesn't look exactly like this, that's okay. Spokes are spokes. They're look, supposed to look kind of confusing. Ta-da! There we go. So now we have our bike spokes, so our wheel of our unicycle is done. Um, I'm going to add a little, couple little lines here. These are my movement lines, so I'm going to show that the tire is moving. Um, and then we're going to add our uh, seat to our 
uh, unicycle. So the seat's gonna come off, kind of we're gonna draw two lines going up next to each other, kind of like an 11 um, that goes up from our wheel. And now we're gonna draw our seat. So I'm gonna start from the left side because I find it easier to draw left to right, kind of like we read left to right. Um, and I'm gonna draw a straight line across so that it touches the top two of my 11. And then I'm gonna curve it around here. And then once I get to about here, uh, I'm going to slope down to create the rest of my seat. So I, I went straight over top of my 11s, then I went around, kind of created like a half circle and then went back straight. And then I created a diagonal line to end my uh, seat. And the reason I did that is because our dog is going to be sitting on our seat. And we want his leg to kind of be over our seat. So we don't want to show the whole thing. We want it to look like his leg is kind of in front of that part. Um, so now we're going to work on our dog. Um, so we're moving up our page and it's time for our unicycling dog. Um, so we're going to start with this leg here that's going to go in front of this uh, seat. So we already have this line pretty much drawn. So we're going to follow that line down, kind of create a curve, and then create like a little foot. And then from that foot, we're going to draw another curved line up for its leg. So now his first leg is kind of draping over that unicycle. And from there, we are going to start at the end of this leg where we just stopped, and we're gonna create a large uh, curved shape for the dog's body and chest. So we're gonna do a large curve. I might do it even small, smaller than that. But it's going to be big and go over and then curve down. So I made it a little high the first time. I want to make sure I have enough room up here for my dog's head and hat. Um, so we're going to kind of go maybe to the middle of the page a little bit higher. Um, but curve that up because we don't want to run out of room for our dog head. Um, so here is our body. Now we can add our second leg. He needs his second leg sticking out here. So if you go from uh, where the body started and the leg connect, so the body and the leg connect here at this little point, we're going to draw our leg out from there. So just a straight line. I like to turn my page because it helps me. Uh, just a straight line out. And then we're going to draw our foot and go back straight. So he's got one leg kind of stretched out straight and this one is kind of curved down over its um, unicycle tire. Alrighty. Um, the next part we're going to do is instead of going up here we're going to actually work on the right side of his body before we move up any higher. So its back is going to just be a straight line from this uh, unicycle seat all the way up to kind of where the end of your uh, chest is. Oops, that was a good line. <laughs> so just one straight line. Oop. And we can add our tail down where the legs are. So on the right side, we'll add a little tail. And you can add whatever type of tail you want. Maybe your dog has a long fluffy tail. Um, maybe it has a little nubby tail like mine, pointed, rounded, um, however you want to do your dog. Um, and now we're done with most of our body and kind of our um, lower part of our drawing. So we want to move up and we need uh, little arms or uh, front paws for our dog. So I'm going to make a little nubby arm here. And then I'm going to also add one coming kind of um, out from his chest because his uh, other shoulder is on the other side. So I'm going to draw kind of a little nub arm like that. So there we go. We got our arms done. So now we can move up to the head. But I want my dog to have uh, kind of look more circus-like because he is a performer. They are a performer. 
and I'm going to uh, add a, a frilly collar because most uh, circus things have frilly collars. Um, so I'm going to draw a straight line the top of the body. And then I'm going to kind of round that line out and make it like a long kind of rectangle. I might make mine a little thicker. Good. And now we're going to uh, do our fluff, uh, fluffy part of our collar. So we're gonna do a wavy line. Remember our wavy lines from the beginning of the year? And we're gonna wave it all the way across our collar. Cool, so now he's got a little fluffy collar on. And now we're gonna work on our head. So uh, we are going to start from the left side of the head. So it's going to be a uh, big curved line that's gonna come up, kind of to a nose here. And then from that, we're gonna put a little kind of circle on top for his nose. And then from there, we're gonna do another curved line, but it's gonna be a little steeper. So it's gonna be a little shorter, steeper line that kind of curves up. I may have run out of room for my hat. <laughs> So we're gonna do a curved line up to the nose, and then another curved line. I had to edit mine so that I could fit his hat in. Another curved line, and then we're going to draw a straight line at the top of that. Because our dog is going to be wearing a little hat. And once we do our straight line, we're going to kind of come down with a curved line here. And I actually might make my forehead of my dog a little smaller. So I have more room for my hat. So we have, for the head, we came up with a curved line, added a little round nose, did a steeper curved line up, kind of like half circle, a straight line across, and then kind of a slightly curved line down for the rest of the head. Um, so in our, I'm going to add a face onto my dog, so I'm going to do a little uh, smiley, and then I'm going to do an eye that's going to be closed, so I'm going to do a kind of curved line with maybe some eyelashes. Um, and now we can add an ear onto our dog. So if you want, you can do a smooth ear, a fluffy ear, uh, a pointed ear, but remember we're gonna add a hat up here, um, so your ear might have to come through the hat. Um, so I'm gonna add a uh, kind of a floppy ear onto my dog. So I'm gonna draw a curved line and then bring it down here and draw another curved line. So it's kind of like a curvy, kind of a uh, rectangle-y kind of thing. That kind of starts at the edge of our head and comes down. Now I get to add my hat. Um, so my hat is gonna be just a little triangle on top of the head, so it's going to go all the way across. So right where that flat line is, that'll be the brim of our hat, and then we'll go up. And I'm gonna put a little ball on top, the little snowflake thing in the middle. So you can add uh, patterns or decorations to your dog's hat if you want. Um, you can also um, uh, add something to their body if you wanna add some spots or um, type of coloring you can. Um, but the last part, if you wanted to add something to your background, um, so, so the last part, you can add something to your background. So I'm gonna add these cute little kind of flag banners um, to his background, um, their background. But if you want to um, add something else that's more circus-like, you can, like an audience or other dogs on unicycles in the background, um, that's fine. But I'll t uh, I'm gonna show you how to draw this um, cute little uh, banner 
kind of in the background. Um, so what you're going to do is draw a curved line that's going to start kind of at the top and you're going to curve it down. And once you reach your dog, you're going to stop. And on the other side of your dog's head, uh, you're going to pick back up your curved line and curve it all the way up. Another way you can do it is you can always just do one long line with your pencil. And then wherever it connects with your dog, you can erase that. So that looks like your dog is in front of your banner. And now comes the easy part. So our banner is just a bunch of little uh, triangle shaped flags. So you can add some triangles to your curved line. And again, if it's gonna run into your dog, you're gonna stop. And our last part is to add our little ties where our um, flags uh, hang onto our line here. So we're gonna just make little loops, kind of like little circles, little loops, and two loops on each side of each flag. So we finished our unicycle dog. Uh, draw along. Um, if you want to change or add anything to your drawing, feel free to do that. Uh, I'm going to outline my uh, dog in a uh, pen and then I'm going to go and start adding color.
Once you have colored your unicycling dog and added all the details you wanted to add, um, make sure you put your name down at the bottom in the corner. Sign it like the artist you are. And there we have it, our unicycling dog, part of our uh, circus silliness this week. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this draw along activity and uh, I will see you all next week. Thanks everyone, bye.